What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. It's free to like the reading. It's not Aries. This can resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hamid, Jupiter, chart. Stop with the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with us. Free general collective reading. Love to appreciate each and every one of you guys. This can resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your chart. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hamid, and Jupiter, chart for additional message or messages if they do or if they do or possibly apply for you. Of course, you are the leader of your best. You are the leader of your own life. Use your best discernment and logic and reasoning. Only take the messages that resonate. Don't force anything, okay? I did receive two channel channel messages. This is a free channel collective reading. I did receive two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy, Aries. Um, I heard information is about to leave you shook is the first one. And the second one, I heard um, a jar um someone that had someone's name in a jar in a jar that's already exploded in the universe is about to become very significant in aries life so you plug it in how it resonates aries so some kind of information is about to leave you shook in some shape form or fashion um it sounds like it hasn't come to you yet but it's about to and a uh, someone that had someone's name in a jar so a dark arts black arts uh, black magic jar that's already exploded in the universe so I heard exploded. I didn't hear break. I heard exploded. It's already exploded in the universe. It's about to be very significant in your life. So however that applies for you and your situation. If you guys would like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. Thanks for all the recent donations and all the love to the channel. I appreciate all the love and support. I do. Single mom with two kids. So I truly appreciate it. Spirit messages you have is not Aries. We have trust. Number nine can be a very significant number in one's life. Number nine, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Or any other significant number in one's life. Number nine. Hummingbird. An Aries is a police investigator. An Aries is a manager, boss, supervisor, or C and CEO. An Aries is a police investigator. An Aries is a manager, boss, supervisor, and CEO. So one of you guys is a police investigator. And one, you're a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Whoever y'all are and how that applies. I feel you can be masculine or feminine. Uh, police investigator or manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. Spirit messages you have for a sign of Aries. Or maybe somebody, maybe you're one of those, um, maybe you're one of those and somebody shows you this video possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Spirit messages you have for a sign of Aries. For some, you could be dealing with a water sign or air sign. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Menhaven, Menhaven, or Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in, how it resonates. Danger, especially in money matters. Credit card companies are about to become very significant in Aries' life. For one, you work with the credit card company. Credit card companies are about to become very significant at Aries life. So creditors, um, so, and for one, you work with the credit card company. So for one, you work with the credit card company. And for one, I feel the creditors or the credit card companies are about to start coming after you. And that would make sense with the danger, especially in money matters, um, if that resonates for you. So you either work for the credit card company, mask or fem Aries. So you're either the creditor or creditors, I feel, coming after people or supervising the creditors coming after people or you are the one they're coming after how that resonates so one of you guys you're having money uh issues i'll tell you that right now um older man dealings a relationship with the older man and number nine could be very significant number number nine
An Aries is about to find out about a local child in their community that has been kidnapped. It's about to leave them shook. Oh my God, that's terrible. An Aries is about to find out about a local child in their community. So this could be you, Aries, or another Aries connected to you. Um, whoever this Aries is, they're about to find out about a local child in their community that has been kidnapped. So it sounds like they've already been kidnapped or when they find out about this kidnapping, it's already happened. Um, I heard it's going to leave them shook. And yeah, man, that's scary. That's some scary shit. Um, probably for sex trafficking. I didn't hear sex trafficking, but so usually when kids or adults wind up missing it's usually for sex trafficking reasons and i hate to say that but that's just the damn truth whether people want to believe that or not hummingbird An Aries is pregnant. They're about to make it known very, very publicly. Social media and community. Earth sign energy. An Aries is pregnant. So one of you guys is prego. Congratulations. If you want to be pregnant, congratulations. I um, heard you're, one of you guys is currently pregnant. Um, it sounds like it's by Earth sign father. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Father. They have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midnight, which you charts. It sounds like you're happy about it. You're about to make it very public. So, um, hummingbirds are loud and proud. They love to show off. They love to be in the public and the limelight. And they love, um, they love to be seen. So, you want this pregnancy known, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Uh, well, your ma'am, your ma'am. And um, so, you're going to use your hummingbird spirit and you, um, publicly display your pregnancy for some i feel you might and i didn't hear this i just intuitively feel it i feel you could be um posting like ultrasound picture or pictures on social media on a social media platform or platforms or showing others ultrasound pictures if you've gotten to the stage of ultrasound um or maybe posting a picture of your pregnancy test positive pregnancy test on social media how that resonates and applies but you're about to make it known loud and proud i mean bird Coming birth spirit. It is a earth sign father, if that resonates for you. Dolphin. Hold on. I didn't hear anything else. Dolphin. A Cancer Pisces Scorpio Masculine is about to beg you to keep your mouth shut. It is about to seriously backfire. You know this person is highly manipulative, and they are. And they're in some deep shit. Know this. Very deep shit. Oh my God. I heard a Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine is about to beg you to keep your mouth shut. You can be masculine or feminine Aries. You can have Aries in any aspect of your charts. But this water sign masculine, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, I heard is about to beg you to keep your mouth shut. Um, uh, but I heard um, they're in some deep shit. Whether you didn't know it or not, they're in some deep shit. So that's why they're about to beg you to keep your mouth shut. Um, no others are speaking on this. Definitely are speaking on this. It would not be smart to hold this in, accomplice. Okay, I heard no others are speaking on this. No, they're speaking on it. Um, it definitely would not be a good idea to hold it in, um, accomplice. So basically, if you keep the information in, Aries, it sounds like you have for a while. If you keep it in, other people are speaking on it about this water sign. He's a criminal, whatever the hell it is. I didn't hear specifically what it was, but he's a criminal. He knows he is, and you know he is. But if you keep it in, you're going to be known, you could be connected as an accomplice to his crime or crimes, is what I'm trying to say. I heard it wouldn't, the spiritual download in that is it wouldn't be smart to keep it in. So basically, it'd be smart to speak on it because many others are speaking on it. I heard he's in some deep shit. So whoever this water sign masculine is to you, he could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, in a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midham, or Jupiter charts. 
spiritual download in that was to speak out about it. But of course you have free will and you don't have to speak out about it if you don't want to. But it sounds like it'd be smart because other people aren't um, aren't covering up for him. They aren't covering up for him. I'm sure he wants them to, but they're making the free willing choice not to because I'm sure they don't want to be an accomplice to the shit. And that's just the truth. So you can make a free will choice to be an accomplice to it or not, but it doesn't sound like other people are going to take the fall for his shit. And I, I don't believe people should take the fall for people's shit. They should take accountability and responsibility. So you can choose to be quiet, but it, it doesn't sound like it'd be smart. This is your water sign masculine. He could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Haven, and Jupiter charts. For one, he's a community member. For one, he is a manager, boss, supervisor, CEO. For one, he is a community member, and for one, he's a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. So for one of you guys, he's one of your community members, and for one, he's a manager, boss, supervisor, and CEO. And for one, he's a public platform reader, tarot reader. So for one of you guys, he's a community member. For one, he's a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO of you, Aries. So for one, he's your community member. For one, he's a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO of you. And for one, he is an online public platform tarot card reader. So this is your water sign masculine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine. You plug it in how it resonates. Trust. Trust in the universe, they're about to deliver what you need. Trust in the universe, they're about to deliver what you need. So um, you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. So if that resonates for you, uh, the spiritual download in that was to trust in the universe, it's about to deliver what you need. So I think you need something or you feel you need something it could be information it could be resources it could be um something else uh, but whatever it is either you do need or you feel you need the universe is about to provide it trust in the universe basically so trusting in the universe of course use your best own logic intuition and reasoning with this please don't just trust any damn old body and that's just the truth okay Our car show is about to become very significant. A secret room in a in a office building is about to become significant. Safe room. A car show and a secret safe room in an office building is about to become very significant. So a car show, so maybe um a car show is about to become significant in some shape, form, or fashion. That could go positive or negative, I'm feeling. Maybe you're going to go to this car show or know somebody that's going to go to this car show. And a secret safe room, so in an office building. So those kind of rooms are there in case, like, there's terrorists that come into buildings or gun gunmen or women that come into buildings or something of that nature. Um, so maybe you work in this office building or you know somebody that works in this office building that's going to have to utilize the secret safe uh, room um trust in safety um trust in the police trust in serving and protecting um i i don't know why someone would utilize the secret safe room unless they're utilizing it for terrorist reasons or gun person or people reasons or they're utilizing it as a little rendezvous spot to get some rocks off. I mean, I hate to say that, but I mean, I didn't hear that in here, but those are the ways I feel the secret safe room could be utilized, but you plug it in how it resonates. An Aries is about to sell their home and an Aries is about to move in with somebody. You will have to sign a contract. Leasing contract. You didn't think you would. 
an Aries is about to sell their home and an Aries is about to move in with somebody. Um, I heard you didn't think you would have to uh, sign a leasing contract, but you will have to sign a leasing contract. So to lease out the room or rooms or space or spaces, um, I heard you didn't think you would have to, but you are going to have to do that. So uh, whoever that's for, if you have to do that, of course, you have a right to take the contract to a lawyer. And if you choose not to do that, please make sure to read over every single word in that leasing contract. Every single word. To make sure you are protected and that is what you want okay if that resonates for anybody i heard you didn't think you were gonna have to sign it but you are gonna have to sign it so of course you can take it to a lawyer to get it reviewed or you can read over every single word and then choose to sign it but of course you can take the advice or leave it this is just for me but it's smart to read over every single word and that's just the truth okay it protects you okay because your word is binding Okay, so one of you guys is about to sell your home to, uh, that could be a home you primarily live in or a rental home or an Airbnb or what have you, what have you, an extra home or what have you, what have you. I think you're about to trust in the process. Maybe you're about to, um, um, one, you're a real estate agent. One, you're a real estate agent. And one, you're a real estate agent. So one, you're a real estate agent. You're about to trust in the process or trust in, um, um, to buy, uh, in, in some kind of process, however that resonates, okay? Someone is trying to hold up a process. For one person, it is an Aries. For one, it is not an Aries. For one, they're trying to hold the process up, process up on you, Aries. For one, you are Aries trying to hold the process up. But for many series of chain of events, it's about to go whether you want it to or not. So, okay, so I take this as trust in the process, too. Okay, so for one of you guys, you are low vibrational and you're trying to hold up a process strategically. Whoever you are and how that resonates. You're trying to strategically hold up a process for a person, people, place, or situation. For one. For one, somebody's strategically trying to hold up a process for you. So you're either low vibrational and trying to hold, um, strategically hold up a process for a person, people, place, or situation. Or you are high vibrational and somebody's trying to, to strategically hold up the process for you. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But how that resonates, both of these situations I heard is about to move whether you want it to or not. So whether you're being low vibrational and you're stinkily, strategically trying to hold up a process for a person, people, place, or situation, or whether someone's stinkily, strategically trying to hold up a process for you, they're both about to go, whether you want them to or not, okay? I feel this can go positively or negatively for whoever is involved, whether you're low vibrational or high vibrational, you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Bull, do not bite down from opposition, so strength and fortitude. A call from an investigator soon. For one, you are the investigator. A call from an investigator soon, and for one, you are the investigator. Well, I'm pulling out a lot of occupations in here, so you have to plug yourself in wherever you, uh, whatever occupation. There's a, I mean, I've already pulled in police investigator, real estate agent, manager, boss, supervisor, CEOs. I mean, I, someone's a CNA, too. Someone's a CNA, too. A certified nursing assistant. And a PCA. And a PCA. A certified nursing assistant and a patient care assistant. So, one of you guys, PCA, when you're a CNA, certified nursing assistant, or a patient care assistant, masculine or feminine, a lot of occupations. So, how will you resonate, okay? But, um, however that resonates, um, uh, don't back down. Don't back down. Show strength, okay? I think a lot of you guys are about to come up with uh, to a lot of adversity soon. Um, and I'm serious. I think you're about to come up with a, uh, a lot of, uh, come up against a lot of adversity, whatever, whoever you are and how that applies, whether you are, um, whatever occupation you are, whatever career status you are, whatever you do for work, whatever it is, you're, uh, or it could be in career. I'm feeling career. I didn't hear career, but I'm feeling career for some. It could be home life. Or community but I feel there is opposition here whether it's community career 
uh, home life or two or two plus. And I'm just being for real. Okay. A Capricorn that, and a Libra that was once very positive in your life, they're about not to be. Huge liars and back, backstabbers and betrayers. A Capricorn and a Libra that was, now this could be a masculine fem, Capricorn or Libra. They could have cats or Libra and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and behavior, Jupiter, charts. Some kind of cats and Libra energy, masculine or feminine. You have to plug these people in and how they resonate. Um, and a cancer, and a cancer, a cat's a Libra and a cancer. They can have cat's Libra or cancer in their sun, moon, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and behavior, Jupiter charts. And a Scorpio, and a Scorpio, cat's Libra, Scorpio, cancer. They can have cat's Libra, Scorpio, or cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and behavior, Jupiter charts. And for some, it could be this person. And I'm just being for real. Um, but however that resonates, I heard they, um, they're about to betray you in a huge way. They're huge backstabbers and betrayers. And I think you're about to pick up on this. So don't back down from them is what I'm feeling. Show strength and fortitude in the situation. Um, they're frenemy energy or friend family energy or however you're connected to them. Frenemy S type energy. Uh, they're huge backstabbers and betrayers. I feel for some of you probably knew this before you started communicating or hanging out with them or being around them or what have you, what have you. But I think you wanted to believe the best in them, but they are showing their true colors or they're about to. True colors have definitely already been exposed. Definitely. An Aries is about to make some power play moves soon. True colors have definitely already been exposed. You're about to, an Aries is about to make some power play moves soon. So you Aries are about to make some power play moves because their true colors have already been exposed. Um, so you're about to trust in yourself, I'm feeling, trust in yourself and trust in the situation. And you're about to um, use your own intuition here and make the best decision for you is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Fair, danger, especially money matters. A bad investment is about to really, really put air, an Aries down financially. Very bad investment. Oh. One of you guys, a very bad investment is about to put you down, like um, down in the money department. Um, it sounds like significantly. So whatever bad investment or investments that is for you, um, that really could range a million different ways. Whatever you invested in, that was a bad investment. Um, how that resonates and applies. But it's about to put your money down in a very, um, um, in, in a negative sense here. And a very low vibrational Aries, 40 and above, has been stealing from co-workers for a long time, a long time. Through many series of chain events, they're about to be caught and they will be terminated. And negative repercussions will, uh, will come from the company. Whoa. Well, it sounds like that person deserves it. So it's a very low vibrational Aries. Um, 40 and above. 40 and above. They are 40 and above, and they're an Aries. Uh, manager, boss, supervisor, CEO. Super, manager, boss, supervisor, CEO. So they are 40 or above. Manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, Aries. And um, I heard they've been stealing from uh, coworkers. So I feel subordinates, probably. Um, or it could be same playing field. Manager, bosses, supervisors, and CEOs as well. But I heard coworkers. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard they've been doing it for years. They've been doing it for years. But I heard they're about to get caught. 
So you could be an investigator about to catch this low vibrational Aries, possibly, because I'm pulling an investigator energy, police investigator, and other investigator energy. So you plug it in how it resonates, but how that resonates, this Aries is about to get caught. They are they've been stealing for years from coworkers, years, and not just one coworker, two or two plus. Um so they're about to get terminated. So their danger and money matters here is one, they are so codependent on other people's money. One, they're making money in a workplace situation. Two, they feel the need to steal from others, which is shitty on itself. I mean, what? Um, so they're about to get caught. And this sounds like it's their negative karma here because they should be caught. That's some sick shit. And that's just the truth. And I'm being for real. It is about to teach them a huge lesson. It's about to teach them a huge lesson. I heard it's about to teach them a huge lesson. Well, it should teach them a huge lesson because that's shit. That is shitty. And that's just the truth. Older man, dealings or relationship with older man. A father is about to become very significant in Aries' life. And a doctor. And a surgeon. A father, a doctor, and a surgeon is about to become very significant in Aries' life. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I feel this is your father, doctor, or surgeon, Aries. You can be masculine or feminine Aries. You can have Aries in any aspects of your charts. But I feel this is your father, your doctor, or your surgeon, ma'am or sir. Um, whoever this person is, uh, I think they're older masculine energy or they're a femme that takes on heavy masculine. Um, how that resonates and applies. For one, you are a doctor. For one, you are a doctor. So for one, you are a doctor. And for one, um, you're about to deal with, I feel, a ma older masculine doctor, um, surgeon or lawyer. I mean, not lawyer. Why did I say lawyer? Doctor, surgeon or, um. What was the other one? It wasn't lawyer. How about that resonates? You have to go back and check it. It wasn't lawyer. It was something else. But this person, but for one, you are a doctor. One, you are a doctor. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, it's either, um, there. it's an older person, so I'm feeling 35, 36 or above. Either a masculine energy or a femme that takes on heavy masculine. How that resonates? Um, and for one, you are a doctor. So you plug it in how it resonates. For one, you are a tarot card reader. For one, you are a tarot card reader. And for one, you're a tarot card reader. For one, you're a tarot card reader about to get contacted by a business person for a business opportunity. For one, you're a tarot card reader about to get contacted uh, for a business opportunity. So I feel it's an older masculine energy or an older femme that takes on heavy masculine tarot card reader that's about to contact you for a business opportunity. Um, you're an Aries tarot card reader, if that resonates for you. Um, and that could be trusting in the universe too, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates Aries. All right, well, I'm done. I hope this helped, and I love you guys so much, and I'm going to stay.